What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another New World video. Today guys, listen, I wanted to kind of do a short video and kind of break down what exactly Arena is and how it works and how I could imagine this developing into some cool things. I know you guys sat down and appreciate you guys watching my video yesterday. I was super duper excited. Uh, we were supposed to do some more Arena uh, today. Still haven't been asleep yet, by the way, but ended up playing a crap ton of Overprime. Um, but listen. Now I want to talk to you guys about this. So the biggest thing when you guys come into New World, uh, especially when this update goes live, keep in mind that this is just the first week of the um, PTR. So a lot of the stuff is subject to change. Um, currently the bow is feeling insane fluid fast and just delicious um and as with always this is not a patch notes video so we're not gonna you know talk too much on the weapon changes or anything like that just yet because all ptr things are subject to change what we will look at though is everything that you can get with this update including all of the rewards so for those of you guys who haven't checked this out yet, basically how this works essentially is you guys have arena. It's a 3v3. You guys saw it in a video yesterday. It's super duper dope. You guys can start to participate as early as level 20. Now, the cool thing about this, and I mentioned this in the video before, is you guys will actually be able to to, to gain <laughs> XP from doing the arena. So we, we tested it at level 30. We got 1200 XP, which was roughly about 5% per level. So I'm assuming that the XP will probably continue to go up as you level up, which means that you can essentially level from 20 to 60 just doing arena, which might not hurt you because it's going to be a crazy ass grind. All right, now let me explain to you how. So the biggest thing, like how this whole thing works is you basically have emblems and rewards. Now you start off as a recruit and as you continue to do PVP, you'll you'll earn XP, your points essentially. And as you continue to move through the ranks, recruit, steel, bronze, silver, gold, all the way up to star metal, um, different rewards increased rewards will be added to the pool now this pool includes items that range from gold to potion packs you know and they'll tell you exactly what you're going to get all the way to gear and then of course vials of azoth salt so you guys can see here that the gear itself is definitely definitely pvp focused now, granted, this is only at track 21. So, you know, we're getting, we're starting to get named items here once you get into the silver tier at 594 gear score, uh, 29 dexterity, 11% critical damage, energizing stomp power. And uh, this gear does range from all variants that I've seen from like green. I'm assuming it will probably go up to legendary as well, especially as you get into the higher tier. So, you could definitely do all your gear grind and stuff here. Now, the beautiful thing about this is as you guys move through the tiers, you'll be able to get umbral shards, gypsum, yes, sir, and ma'am. Okay, more umbral shards, emotes, currency, more item drops. I'm curious to see if they're going to do skins as well. Uh, you guys can get salt vials, prestige equipment, which I don't know what the hell that is just yet. But named equipment starts as early as bronze. Now, when I said that this is going to be a grind, <laughs> listen it's gonna get a little crazy so hear me out so you have 200 tracks to complete and i'm curious if it goes past 200 because like i'd imagine if you continue to get to do pvp you might still be able to buy stuff but we'll have to wait and see what that looks like but the biggest thing here guys is when you look at this is you can buy stuff with the salt that you earn from pvp um participation so this is not just for arena so you can still get points and stuff from doing outpost rush wars and all that other jazz if you guys are into that um, but the biggest thing is as you guys complete these you guys will complete these tracks now i'm not going to buy anything from here because i'm going to save my salt but i'm just going to go and hit this complete track button here so you guys can see this I'm going to complete this. It's going to take me to the next track. Notice it's only one track. Okay. And as you continue to push through this and continue to gain XP, you'll continue to get XP or excuse me, you'll continue to basically rank up essentially. Um, and then you'll unlock these store items, which are completely random. Now, what I'm hoping is that as we continue to rank up or increase our track level, essentially, um, then we'll continue to get gear. Now, what this strikes me as is filler content. Hear me out. The reason why I say this is filler content is because it's going to take you a considerable amount of time to get this done. 
because I'm assuming that they only started us at 20 because this is a PTR. But once the actual thing starts in May, we'll all start recruit level at rank one, which why it could be beneficial, especially if you're a PVP fanatic to start doing this as early as level 20 so you can get this done. Now, the reason or another reason I would say that it's filler content is because this is content enough that's going to stretch over a wide period of time which is going to give amazon the time to put out things like a ranked mmr system matchmaking other events different pvp formats and variations one of my favorite things that i hope they add to the game of course is going to be capture the flag um i swear please add capture the flag that's all you need to just capture the flag okay that's it we already got a wrath eye basin <laughs> with uh, outpost right so we just need capture the flag we're song gulches let's go but with that i think what this will allow them to do from an internal testing standpoint is a allow us to break everything in the game to see how everything is going to work with the current weapon systems free up a lot of space for them to Im implement new weapons based on the data that they collect and then also after they squash all the bugs lay the foundation get everything rolling then they can put it put everything in a situation to where um when they do introduce let's say an mmr system where you actually have pvp ranks with the matchmaking system um then you can say well if you're silver or gold or diamond or platinum or whatever um then you'll be matched with similar players that are in that rank style and that's where competitive arenas like the real competitive arena when they start doing twitch rivals and tournaments and all kinds of craziness um that's when all that stuff will start to take place. Now, I hear you now. You're like, but D, there's only 12 people that play New World. Well, listen, even with those 12 people, all right, <laughs> they could still make it work. Because the thing that people need to understand is, is, is even if the player base didn't increase at all, let's say just say they stayed at 30,000 players. 30,000 people is a lot of mofos, okay? That's a lot of goddamn people uh, that you can use for 3v3 tournaments, considering that most of those people are probably already level 60, and assuming that nobody's going to come back to the game, which is definitely not true, because I know everybody's already salivating for Arena and the trash talk and the saltiness that's going to be happening, especially after this goes live next month. Um, I, th I think things... I I think things are going to get a little bit crazy. So I think, as I mentioned in, in the last video, that this is definitely the starting point for the next big jump in New World content. Um, this is going to establish a very, very, very strong foundation, especially with the format that they have set up. I was a little bit concerned at first when I saw that, you know, there was no like official ranking system yet, but I had to remember um, that this is just a public test realm. And of course, since we're testing this and breaking this, um, they're really probably just using us as guinea pigs right now uh, to lay all the groundwork to get everything ready for the future. But outside of that, like I'm really, really excited to see um, that day come when we do queue up. Because just like any other competitive game that any of us have played, there's always been like an unranked season. And then after they got all the stuff squared away, fixed and ready to go, then season one started or season two started or season three started. And then as they introduce new variations of PvP, um, they can eventually bring that competitive aspect into those as well, which would be really, really cool. And listen, if they decide to do like a New World Con uh, or a conference where the, the tournaments are hosted, or held where you have your favorite your you know your favorite players or favorite content creators or favorite pvpers or whatever that you're coming to watch and support or maybe even bet on who knows um i think things could get a little bit crazy but the biggest thing with this though is i think it's really smooth and it's really seamless how this plays out i really love the fact that how quick the matches are and you have to fight it also opens up a ton of build options for uh, people putting together a new meta for PvP, like what's going to be the best builds, what, what are going to be the best team comps, so on and so forth. And it's going to really create some outstanding circumstances, especially as more and more weapons are added to the freight. Because if you guys look over at the Weapon Mastery tab, or excuse me, the Attributes tab, you guys can see that there's still a hell of a lot of slots here that they could be adding just for these stats. And Lord forbid they go into constitution weapons. Please don't. Um, but for everything else, we still got Celestial Gauntlet for focus coming, right? We still got daggers. We still got maces. We still got pistols. We got crossbows. There's like so many different things that are still coming um, that are going to crazy ramp up 
the way that PvP works, especially in the 3v3 arena, and I'm excited to see it all play out. But at the end of the day, all that matters is that we continue to have a good time doing it. So let me know what you guys think about this. I wanted to kind of share my thoughts and kind of break down how this whole thing works. Um, you get points and stuff, whether you win or lose. I haven't quite noticed if you get more or less for winning or losing, um, but I have to still collect some data on this as we continue to do this. But uh, my first experience in this after we did like a 10 to 12 hours, so 12 hours, 13, 14, I don't even know how many hours it was that we did or, uh, three v3 arena but it was a ton of fun it was it was the most fun i've had in new world like ever <laughs> it, it was just great and i'm excited to see what else they got but like i said let me know what you guys think about this whole system um when you guys come back if you guys got questions about team comps builds and stuff like that uh we'll get into more of that as you know obviously the meta continues to establish i can say right now the most toxic thing is probably the one shot blunderbuss builds and multi healer comps so i'm curious to see what uh their response is going to be to these things that evolve and develop during the ptr so they can address those things before this goes live next month but with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's all I wanted to cover today. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below, and I'll be happy to assist. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.